At the heart of Singapore's success is an efficient public transportation system. A high-tech and efficient rail transit system forms the backbone of the country's public transport. Modern bus and taxi services connect citizens to every corner of the city. To keep vehicular traffic moving, a huge network of roads, bridges and tunnels have to be kept congestion-free. Singapore continues to face new challenges to keep the city moving. In the future, as many as 14.3 million journeys could be made per day. The country's small size also leaves it little room to maneuver. It's the second most densely populated nation in the world, with 12% of its land already allocated for road use. To overcome these challenges, the LTA has designed a blueprint that will shape land transport policies over the next decade and beyond. To achieve this, three strategic thrusts have been identified. Making public transport a choice mode. Managing road usage. Meeting the diverse needs of the people. The first of the LTA's three key strategic thrusts is to make public transport a choice mode. The goal is for 85% of public transport commuters to be able to complete their journeys within 60 minutes during morning peak hours door to door. To achieve this goal, the LTA will take on the role of a central bus network planner by 2009. By doing so, LTA aims to create a more integrated and service-oriented public transport network. A series of new initiatives will enhance the already efficient bus services in Singapore. LTA will also create greater competition in the public transport industry. Operators will have to constantly improve their services and keep the needs of commuters in mind. In addition, a new integrated season pass will allow unlimited travel on any train and basic bus service. Fares will be based on the total length of the journey across bus and rail regardless of the transfers made. Singapore's MRT train system will also expand its routes, adding a new line or extension every two years until the year 2020. In the second strategic thrust, traffic will be kept flowing smoothly on roads by managing the use of limited road space. One of the most critical tools on this front is the electronic road pricing system, or ERP. It's designed on a pay-as-you-use principle that charges motorists when they use congested roads. LTA wants to encourage more people to view public transport as an alternative to owning a car. LTA will also reduce road tax as it shifts its focus from ownership taxes to usage charges. The LTA will also continue to control vehicle population growth through the vehicle quota system. Controlling the growth of vehicle population helps to ease overall demand and hence congestion on the road network. To further support this strategic thrust, LTA will also implement parking guidance systems in key areas. The system provides information on available parking lots thus reducing the amount of traffic circulating on the roads looking for available parking space. The final strategic thrust ensures that Singaporeans' diverse needs and rising expectations for land transport are met. To do this, LTA will work with the community even more closely to its community outreach program. LTA will also roll out more initiatives to make public transport accessible to all Singaporeans. Additional barrier-free facilities will be built at MRT and public bus stations to cater to the physically challenged and the elderly. More interchanges and stations will be transformed into lifestyle hubs, 
so that Singaporeans can enjoy other activities while on their daily commute. The needs of commuters will also be addressed as improvements are continually made to pedestrian shelters and overhead bridges. Promoting public transport and restraining the use of cars are critical in protecting our environment. The LTA will also continue to promote cleaner and more energy efficient vehicles. These strategic thrusts will steer the development of a people-centered land transport system. The result? A vibrant, livable, global city.